Hi, and welcome to Animal Zone. I'm Arthur von Wiesenberger, and this handsome fellow is Mikey, my adopted pit bull. Animal Zone is the A to Z on everything about adoptable pets. Whether you're looking for a bird, a cat, a dog, or even a tortoise, we've got experts who can share their knowledge and insights. So cuddle up with your favorite critter and join us as we explore the Animal Zone. This week we're going to the big house, as in prison, to the men's colony in San Luis Obispo. Why, you might ask? Well, there's an amazing program which involves inmates, dogs, and special training, which is helping all involved. So Mikey, it's out of the doghouse, but don't pass go because we're going to go directly to jail, right here on Animal Zone. <laughs> Today we're at the California Men's Colony in San Luis Obispo in California. Now this is a prison and it's a special one because they work with inmates and dogs. And part of that reason is there's an organization called the Sun Care Foundation that has brought on New Life Canine. And with us is Dylan Jameson from uh, Sun Care Foundation. Hi, great to be here, thank you. Thanks for having us and um, tell us how this started. So Sun Care Found Foundation started uh, back in 94. Um, as a mentoring program and the, um, the founder um, wanted to have kind of a mission of saving lives so uh, as the mentoring program got built up uh, they wanted to be self-supporting so they started a, a, a pet resort called Thousand Hills Pet Resort here in San Luis Obispo um, to give the mentor uh, students um, work experience so they uh, worked at the pet resort part-time, um, got mentoring um, and then as the pet resort built up, they decided that they wanted to also uh, teach service dogs. Um, and so an employee at the pet resort started uh, training service dogs. And then um, the founder and um, our director of education, Nicole Hearn, um, decided that they would like to work with inmates as well to help with their uh, rehabilitative process. Um, so then they uh, started working out at, the, at the, out at the prison to work with the inmates and help them. Um, and uh, work with the dogs. Now, I understand that the dogs that come here are, you said, helping the inmates. And the inmates, are they helping the dogs too? Yeah, so the inmates are the uh, dogs' uh, trainers, basically. So Monday through Friday, they're their primary uh, trainer. That's their duty. Their, um, 20, their dogs are here 24 hours a day, uh, Monday through Friday. Um, and then on the weekends, they go home with volunteers. Uh, but the inmates are primarily responsible for uh, training the dogs. Now, I would imagine when the inmates are working with these dogs, they must also bond with them as well. Uh, but those dogs ultimately are donated to uh, other uh, well-deserving folks. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, yeah. So um, after the two years of training with the inmate, the service dogs are given free of charge to a veteran or first responder who has PTSD. Um, first responders include firefighters, police officers, anybody um, in that type of uh, work is eligible for a service dog um, and they do have to be medically diagnosed with PTSD. Um, yeah, so after, after the two years uh, bonding with the inmate, the inmates um, go through a process where they learn how, how to give up their dog. It is hard, but it is part of the process. Um, and then an inmate gets, or a, a veteran or first responder gets a, a new life, as we say, um, with uh, their service dog. Well, this is a great win-win-win for all involved. Let's go take a look at some of the dogs and the inmates that we work with. Okay, here we are with Josh and his dog, Cole, who you've been working with for some time, since he was a puppy? Yeah, since he was eight weeks old. Wow, and uh, he's learned a lot, of, a lot of things. I mean, I just noticed how you got him to sit down before he started. Uh, what are some of the things you've been training him for? Um, we teach him to uh, try to understand a lot of language. So not really direct commands, but like through body language, uh, just to interpret what you're asking him to do. So you're using hand signals and, yeah. uh, and he seems to be doing so good so right now. In fact, I'd like to get down and say hello to 
Cole. Hey, Cole, how are you? Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Um, now, Cole stays here inside the, the facility with you, right? And uh, you guys all sleep together, so to speak? Yeah, he sleeps at the foot of my bed. He's got a crate. Um, I just put him in there at night, and uh, sometimes I'll leave it open. He can come in and out. Sometimes he'll jump on the bed, but it's a small bed, so. Are there other dogs in the same room? Yeah, we've got like 12 dogs in this dorm and a couple in the dorm next door. So. And have you trained them all to get on with one another? Yeah, yeah, they all get along fine. What's having him in your life brought to your life? Um, it's kind of brought, I would say, a sense of purpose. I mean, we get to give to a higher cause, you know, because my brother, um, he did two tours in Iraq and I, it visibly changed his, for me. Um, he came back and he was, he drank a lot of alcohol and I could really see what the war did to him. And to be able to give back to the veterans in some kind of a way, it's really special. You know, it's, it's a purpose more important than myself, you know, so. Do you want to work with dogs when you leave here? I would like to, yes. I would enjoy it. Uh -huh. So it's really an enriching experience for you? Oh yeah. I mean, it's cool because you get to, you get to give and receive unconditional love. And then in a way you can give that to somebody else. So it's, it's a good, it's a nice gift. Good for the soul, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Animals are amazing what they give us. Oh, yeah. Well, Josh, thank you so much for uh, joining us today on Animal Zone. We appreciate it. We appreciate it and wish you lots of good luck. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Pleasure. Okay, and now we're here with Will and Dazzle. his dog, Dazzle. And yeah. Dazzle is how old? She is 13 months old. And how long have you had her? Uh, eight months. Wow. So you've had her since she was a little pup, huh? Yeah. I've been very blessed. How's it going? It's going awesome. She looks like she's in love. She's a, yeah, she's <laughs> a great dog. She brings a lot of joy to my life. She's a pleasure, everyone she meets, she's, she's awesome. What are some of the things you've trained her to do? Um, right now, go get help, um, open doors. Um, working on her, her, getting her to put laundry away, actually. It's a work in progress. Wait, wait, I could use a dog like yeah. that. <laughs> Pretty handy. So, yeah. Wow, and, and she stays in here with you, right? Yes, yeah, she does. Wow. She lives right in front of my bunk, actually. Pretty great, huh? Yeah, awesome, she's, ah. she's great. Wait, every, every morning I wake up, she puts a smile on my face. She's and ultimately, she'll be going to some deserving vet or uh, first responder. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be a, a difficult separation, but it's going to be uh, welcomed. Well, she's a super looking dog. Yeah, and she's a beautiful, beautiful coat. And look at her. Super she, playful. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. She's awesome. Well, we'll uh, appreciate you joining us today on Animal Zone. Well, and thank uh, you. Good luck to you and good luck to Dazzle. Yeah. And we're back here at the California Men's Colony in San Luis Obispo. And joining us is Rose Mendoza, who's a canine educator. Tell me what that is exactly. So <laughs> um, there's a lot of roles that I, I do. I started working for New Lab Canines just as a dog trainer. Um, over the time, we expanded to our prison programs. So now, I, instead of just working directly with the dogs, I work with the inmate handlers and our volunteers and also the dogs <laughs> um, as if they if just to if they're struggling with a certain area I kind of um, give it a try and see what things could motivate them in their learning process. Now I see a lot of the dogs come here as puppies don't they? They, they do they come in when they're eight weeks old um, that's usually the average that they come in. And how long do they stay? Um, they stay for two years um, sometimes it could be a year and a half if they're really mature um, but usually it's roughly around two years. You train them in certain ways to recognize hand movements but other th signals as well. So they so our dogs are very um, smart overall they have adapted to our social cues um, more so than we have adapted to theirs. <laughs> um, a lot of people like have a hard time still understanding dog body language but the way dogs understand our body language is way more better <laughs> um, they do it better than us <laughs> so they um, sometimes yeah they do work um, respond to our hand signals but sometimes they um, respond to our emotional response so for example when we work um, the dogs to leaving stuff on the floor instead of saying leave it we go ew so nasty so the dog is realizing that hey my, the way my expression is, they're, they're, it's a social cue. So they're also learning to not just respond to what I'm saying, but to respond to my emotions and my face gestures. Well, Rose, that's really fascinating. Let's go take a look at the dogs in action.
Well, here we are with Osa and his dog, Gregor. And Gregor, how old is Gregor? Gregor is 17 uh, months. <laughs> and he's a very loving pup, isn't Yes, he? he is very loving and affectionate. Uh, <laughs> and he has other, other relatives here, doesn't he? Yes, he, uh, that's about six, or six uh, Arizona dogs, we call them. Um, they came from Coal Haven uh, Breeder out in Arizona. Mm -hmm. um, his older brother is here and his older brother is looking to be graduating in August. So how long have you been working with Gregor? Um, I have been assigned with Gregor since February 28th of 2018. Hey, but can you come this way? I know you, I know. I needed to get a little wash anyway. Um, Thank you. Oh, look, look at that. Thank you. And uh, how, is, how is it working with Gregor? Um, it's been a blessing and, and um, the program and working with Gregor has helped me humanize myself again and reconnect to my human side. Um, coming into the system, we put up a lot of walls and we shut ourselves off emotionally and Gregor has been able to help me come out of my role as um, a convict and then into a human side, right? So more loving, more... So having to love and care for him help me re-understand what love is to really tru truly care for a, another being so it has been a blessing that, that is wonderful and it looks like you've given a lot to Gregor too he's a very happy pup yes but I, I believe he has given me more than I have given him so having given the opportunity to be with him and care for him and nurture him has been a blessing has been a truly a blessing what, what's your biggest challenge in working with Gregor um, I think at time um, having to really work with my with my patient, right? Um, they're like a two-year-old, five-year-old child, um, and they are with us sometimes 24 hours out of the day, seven days a week. And having to um, learn how to check my emotion and check what I'm going through so that it doesn't transfer down the leash to him um, has been at time very challenging. But uh, like I said, overall, it's, it, it's been a blessing. It's probably going to be heartbreaking to let him go, but yeah, it's been a blessing. Well, it's great to meet you and great to meet Gregor, and you guys are doing a great job here. So thank you for joining us on Animal Thank Zone. you for coming out. Okay.